What's going on guys, Saga Plays here coming at you with the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Rule. Sorry for this one coming out later than expected. I kind of got engrossed in schoolwork, so I just kind of lost track of time. I'm it's Pretty much it's 1.40 right now. Usually I would try and get this up by 2, but yeah, I lost track of time. And I ended up recording, am recording this 40 minutes past when I normally would. But let us get into the second solo mode gate which is not second but like the second new release of the gate and that is legend of the starry dragon the details are the angelic white winged starry knights fight by utilizing the power of starry knight starry dragon which descends from the hand their story is one of a battle waged in secrecy passed down through legends told throughout countless ages All right, and this one is fairly straightforward, like a normal one, scenario, practice, dual, goal. I don't know why I'm kind of hyper at the moment. Probably because of the fact that I uh, am recording this late, so yeah, but uh, whew, I do apologize again. I will try, I'll probably set an alarm for the next time. One Starry Night. Some spend time with their family members, others spend time with their loved ones, and pray for another day of peace and wellness. I believe this one's a uh, Christmas themed, because I mean, you can kind of see the Christmas tree in the background there, so, because I don't really know when this one released, but probably around, it was meant for Christmas. On this night, when the world is full of happiness, a certain ancient legend is told. The Legend of the Starry Dragon A holy dragon appears on a beautiful starry night with a knight in a white robe on its back. The good are given a blessing and guidance while the wicked are thrown into holy fire that burns away evil. The tale is passed down from parent to child. It transmits the parent's wishes that their child lives a pure and righteous life so that they may one day receive blessings from the holy dragon. This is why it has been told from generation to generation. For the uninformed, it is a mere fairy tale. However, there is a hidden truth to this story. Wow, that was a fairly quick scenario. That's the first time I've gone through one super quickly. Wow. But, uh, okay. Alright. Let's get this practice underway. But, yeah. I did not expect it to go by that fast. Whew. Um, so next week pretty much would be the last Master Duel video. I know. Super short, but, yeah. Oh, well, okay. What makes a Starry Night deck unique? The main feature of this deck is that it can be used to summon level 7 light dragon type monsters from your hand or return them from the field to the hand to activate a variety of effects. When normal or special summoned from the hand, Starry Knight Starry Dragon is a monster that provides strong support for a Starry Knight deck for a Starry Knight deck, including an effect that destroys a card on the field. All right. If I recall the Starry Knight archetype, I saw this like in a YouTube shorts, I don't remember what, but the Starry Knight archetype kind of stemmed from one card. It was a, in the Japanese, in Japanese, I forget what it's called, but it's like Starry Knight, I think it's Starry Knight. In the Japanese, it translates to Starry Knight, but I think the US, obviously the US sometimes botches translations or like, alter translations to make it to make some to make it look to make it fit more with the card or something like that i don't know because i know not all the cards they get properly translated but yeah yeah this is it it's literally starry night balefire okay yes yes oh wow okay so i will it's say yari say are you yeah, literally, this is a card the whole Starry Night archetype was stemmed from. Basically, from that, 
because in the Japanese, if I recall, it did does translate into Starry Night, but Sayaru was directly translated, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't really remember if they botched the translation or not, or they just changed the name, that kind of thing. So, I mean, Sayaru, I think that's the English pronunciation if you write from the kanji, but its translation is Starry Night. So, I mean, yeah, it all stemmed from that, and then basically, like, you could call it Starry Night, Starry Dragon, the evolved or upgraded form of Say Are You or something like that. Pick Estelle, okay. Special Summon You. I mean, that's kind of just the same as Tribute Summoning, but, like, it's a special summon, because, yeah, but, okay, yes. Troy say are you? Alright. Okay. Estelle's effect. To boost. Alright. Battle. Okay. So kinda can I think I kinda get the gist of this from that somewhat annoying but it's pretty much uh just you pretty much flip and flop between starry night monsters to trigger effects and then it and then just kind of pull it off into summoning oh crud i did not read those details and i did not think i read it for gross trick i should i'll read it afterwards or if i lose i'll read it because I kind of try to get, try to get the, I mean, I try to get the deck, or try to win with the primary deck quickly, but not all the time. It not, does not work all the time. Uh, okay, so when this is normal summon, add a spell or trap, a uh, quick effect. Alright, uh, if this card is in your hand, you can turn one straight night. Monster of one level seven and dragon monster you control to hand except seal special in this card. Okay. So normal summon you trigger you. Um what okay, that's a one off. Okay, when an opponent activates card, return one oh okay. I can activate you. So bounce that to hand, summon you. And then I'll just chuck these two face down. Oh, wait. Could I have some? I could have just summoned them. Oop. Oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. That, uh, uh, okay. Um, okay. If you. Try one light monster you control if you do summon one from your hand. Okay, that's useless right now. I'll just summon. Oh, I can't. Can only use it once per turn. Cried. Okay. Well, this is already going off badly. Um. Okay. Seven shining stars is the name. Um. Okay. Uh. Once per turn, when your opponent would special summon a monster while this card is in your monster zone, you can send to the grave. Uh, yeah. Defense. What? What the heck? Wow, okay. It immediately goes to- what? Probably because it's a- uh, yeah, okay. Summon you. Uh, banish this card. Trigger one Starry Night monster in your grave. Uh, I'll make use of that later on, but this one's a quick effect, so... Ooh, nope. Wait. I'll just end the turn. I did not realize that was 500 defense. Okay. Spells effect... Are you? Oh, hmm. 
I completely forgot about that. Crud. Okay. I, um... Okay. I'm going to need to think this through a lot more. Um, okay. Some trigger that. Uh, get a spell this time. Add one starting night. Yes. Okay, yeah. Use Balefire. Activate you. Let's get my Starry Knight, Starry Dragon out. Oh, wait, right. Level 7. Uh, you can banish target 1. Banish that. I'll, uh... Regain you. And utilize your effect tribute you summon no wait I should have kept that because of the, the 2000 defense in fact you yeah mm. I should have destroyed the face down then uh, yeah yeah return to hand you Okay. Yes. I'll set that face down. And I will go to battle. Ooh, crud. Uh, wait, okay. Uh, can I be destroyed by Val? Yeah, right. Once per turn, not the damage that this card attacks, you can banish. Yeah. Direct attack. Okay. Okay, that's basically normal speed. Okay. All right. Terraform. Hmm, that's useless right now. Flip. Activate. Yeah. Yeah, suck itself. But what is the extra deck? Harmonize Gradiel, number 76. Okay, yeah. So I guess the extra deck's pretty much useless in this case. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Two Estelles. Boost you. Battle. Yes. Attack. And... Okay, we win. I didn't was not completely expecting that. I thought I would have lost. Hmm. Guess it tur I turned it around after reading stuff. First thing in you get, always read the cards. Public knowledge, always make use of that. Oh my gosh. Okay. But I do want to read. Okay. Starry Knight, Starry Dragon has the ability to destroy a card on the field when successfully normal or special summoned from the hand. Also, if it attacks a monster with higher attack or defense, it can banish it until the end phase and then attack once more. Depending on the situation, this powerful monster can create opportunities for direct attacks. Using the effects of Starry Knight cards in conjunction with Starry Knight, Starry Dragon will make it easier to break through your opponent's line of defense, harness their powers to their potential, and go for the win. Okay, so that's pretty, so that just describes Starry Knight, Starry Dragon, the boss monster of this deck. Dex effect. Um, okay, I'm going to stick with Blue Eyes just because, like, I know Starry Knight, Starry Dragon can't be destroyed by any dark type monsters, and Cyber Dragon kind of does uh, possess dark type. Well, Cyber Dark Dragon is a dark type and all, but yeah. Um, okay. Easy start out. There and there. Okay, I'm done. Just get, yeah. Why well, should I really can't do much without a blue eyes in hand? Okay. 
And I do apologize if you hear any background noise. I think they're doing some construction work on my campus. I got zero clue, but yeah, it's in the background. That's all I can say. All right. Yay. I like it when they destroy stuff. White Stone of Ancient Legend. Yeah. I always want to say White Stone of Ancient. Okay. Draw. Oh, Ash. Useful. Summon. Utilize you. Uh, yeah, no. I don't want you to draw. Common charity. That's like the the underdog card from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, sucks that Salt Wyvern doesn't trigger when it also is destroyed, but so be it. Yeah. Okay, that worked. Oh, uh, mm. Oh, crud. See, are you? Okay. Infinite impertinence. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Okay, get me Paradox Dragon. Mm. Yeah, alright. Kind of want to force you to me utilize that. If not, okay. I just... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Thought you would do that. Yay. Take 500. Oh. Please let me draw Paradox. Or at least... Maiden, that works. Maiden does work. Okay, end the turn. Maiden does work. Yeah, okay. What's that? Heals and Ryu. Okay. Hmm. Hey, blue eyes. And oh, uh, crud. Okay. Dark Odd Eyes Rebellion. Hmm. Did not expect that. Okay. I did not expect that. I'll just say. It. Oh yeah, polymerization is only in here for Destiny Hero. That's it. So might as well just set it down. And then the turn. But you definitely should have kept uh, both monsters. Yeah, that works. Okay. And the turn. Okay, now I probably should. Eh. I probably should have had a blue eyes fusion monster, but I rarely ever get those out. So, I mean. Yeah, okay. At least I got both blue eyes to hand. Oh, great. Draw dogma. Okay. And the turn. So, who do you swing with first? Or neither of them. Great. Is this a stall matched? Ah, Paradox, finally. Okay. And that does not do a thing. Okay. That I can do. But that's polymerization, so it's meaningless right now. But at least I stopped that from ain't happening. But 
thankfully with Hawkeye's Rebellion out, I can do this. Drag Lubion into uh, number 100, Numeron Dragon. Uh, I chuck one of these, and now, what is that? 16,000 battle, and I'll attack you. And that's game. Okay, yeah, that was quick. But I do kind of like the Starry Knight attribute. I may make it, or archetype, not attribute. I may make a deck based off of them. I don't know yet. I'll have to think about it. Because it is interesting. Especially the fact that you could special summon a monster from the grave and not have its effects negated. That's fairly nice to have. Even if it's like a Starry Knight monster. <clears throat> a truth hidden within the legend. That is the battle between the dragon and the evil beings. Since the beginning of time, there have been demonic beings that spread disorder. Many people were suffering because of these de demons' mischief. The angels that watch over the people took pity and prayed to heaven. In answer to that holy prayer, Starry Night, Starry Dragon descended upon the earth. The starry dragon unleashed its mighty might to save humankind. The angels took arms as knights obedient to the will of the dragon and served to purge the evil. In shining platinum armor, the white-winged angels soared through the starry sky. These angels were called the starry knights. Many of the demons were purged by the dragon and the angels before they were even witnessed by humans. No matter how much time passes, people rem will remain ignorant of the truth while they pass on the legend. The traces of the holy dragon and the angels silently disappear as they fulfill their duties. To the twinkling stars flowing like the Milky Way, we give our thanks and holy blessings. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the, generally I called it, I'd say this was a Christmas gate, themed gate, or not themed, but Christmas uh, gate. Um, Let me check what I'd get in this if I were to make it. Okay. Starry Night. Dragon Maid Shield. Huh. Did not expect that one. And Keeper of the Dragon. Yeah. Starry Night. Genuinely, I think. The Starry Knight archetype does not re rely on the extra deck as much, but I mean, you could incorporate the extra deck with, like, heavy hitting cards that can help boost out summons, but really, the extra deck is, uh, does not really matter with the Starry Knight archetype, but that'll be it for today's episode, and then next week will be the last, for the time being, will be the last one with Mutant Mutation. I wonder what that one is. That kind of sounds interesting. But uh, this is Saga Plays signing off. Bye.